okay in this session we will discuss about vl pod okay vl pod is a transaction okay so let's press enter let me show you what it is all about suppose you are creating an order suppose you are creating a delivery and after that you are creating billing this is the your otc process okay let's assume for x customer you are doing this so uh, so like a same customer or a different customer bulk orders are coming like you know bulk quantities are going some quantities might be spoiled or some quantities might be partially delivered okay so regularly suppose if it is 100 100 100 this is a direct scenario for 100 quantity so this 100 quantity assume that it will become like you know 10 so after that it will become 20 after that it will become 50 so for one customer three partial uh, deliveries are there for punching the bill three partial bills or else combined bill sometimes it need to be done but uh, whatever the quantity it is delivered if it is delivered in this month so this quantity is delivered after a couple of months so there is there is no sync between that month and this month to close the accounts so a lot of hiccups and a lot of issues will happen when a partial quantities are delivered or else uh, actual target is 100 but in transit some quantities might be spoiled or damaged or something like that customer called you back hey boss this time out of 100 only 70 is delivered okay so then uh, the after doing 100 delivery 100 uh, so suppose if you done 100 uh, if you think that 100 is delivered and if you build 100 then you have to raise remaining 30 quantity for credit memo so to avoid all these kind of issues or else for a reference certain companies what they will do and they will ask for proof of delivery Proof of delivery means like, you know, how much quantity it is actually delivered. Suppose out of 100 in this scenario, let's assume 85 is delivered. So, so from customer side, they're waiting for confirmation from billing department. So if the customer says 85, 85 will be billed, not 100. If you do it 100, then again, you need to raise credit memo. Like, you know, it need to be approved by some manager or someone because taking cash is easy at company side giving back to customer they will think double why we are sending back this money so it's a common scenario but still it has some importance for your proof of delivery for that we have a transaction called vlpod what it will happen let me show you on the sap system so so if you click this vlpod transaction one second the session got expired i think let me re-log in again okay let's come here let's click okay Let me share my screen. Okay. Suppose if you press VLPOD, so it is asking for some delivery actually. Okay. Proof of delivery. Okay. Let it be. Let me show you something. Let's go to the customer first. Okay. So this is the customer. We'll try to create, we'll try to set proof of delivery. Let's give this sales area. I told you, right? We'll come back to our basics whenever we require. Let's go to sales area data. Let's come here. So if you see this, uh, okay, billing tab, okay. So you have all these things, right? Okay. let's come here if you see this shipping tab like 
relevant for pod okay if you take this it is asking the time frame okay how many days let me put the f1 help for you on this so time frame means how many days we have to wait so let me share the screen so the period of the days in which proof of delivery expected from the recipient means your customer if there is no confirmation in this time the delivery confirmation automatically when this period is without a difference it's simple so it is uh, like you know german english we'll try to understand so this uh, vlpod knvv this is the field pod dtz let's close this so like you know if i keep 3 days after 3 days bill will be created automatically it won't wait but uh, until on that until on that time suppose if you keep it 3 days if you want confirm you can able to confirm by using vlpod transaction let's keep it 3 days actually let's save this pod time frame so you try to remember this relevant for proof of delivery so if i kept this relevant for pod what it happens we'll see for this customer okay so let's come to our sales order let's take this let's give this so let me keep the some 10 quantity okay 10 packs i'm keeping so let's try to do the delivery okay so sometimes uh, if any new end user joined in your support project uh, like you know where you are supporting so you, you might get an um, some issue like this like uh, i was i am not able to take it further let me try to put it okay let's press enter this is text message see everything is same so when i have set a proof of delivery for 3 days within 3 days if i don't get any if i don't get any confirmation from my customer side it will be bill will be created now you try it is within 3 days without proof of delivery okay so if you try to create the bill what it is saying hey you cannot able to generate any billing document let's go to the log actually if an issue comes see pod report back not at carried out or incomplete so for running this vl pod like you know some job might schedule or else the report itself it is not run so let's go to vl pod is the transaction we press enter so if you see this pod date you have to give the date proof of confirmation okay let's let's uh, try to do something here let me say that you know hey boss this is the quantity confirmation you are entering the data when you press enter okay so if any quantity difference is there reason variance it is asking that is different i will show you later now you try to understand this confirm proof of delivery you have to tick this mark see now pod status is relevant but it's not in full status if you observe this so so we have different statuses like you know completely processed or partially processed not relevant certain times when it is not relevant like uh, when you don't tick that mark actually okay if you click this one see it is completed your confirmation for pod status let's try to save this press enter again now you see this quantity is confirmed see pod quantity 10 is got confirmed now what it will happen vf 01 now it allows for creating the bill so that means your finance you confirmed for your finance department for this distributor 10 packs 10 into 550 pieces sorry 10 packs 10 into 550 quantity you confirm so that you know you can able to go ahead and create a bill for customer okay so either if you if you wait for 3 days what it will happen automatically system will allow after 3 days if the date is crossed so now i don't want to wait you can able to test it you create some uh, open uh, 
బిల్డింగ్ డాక్యుమెంట్స్ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ వన్ డే ఆర్ టూ డే యూ కీప్ ఇట్ అండ్ యూ కెన్ టెస్ట్ ఇట్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ ఎ బిగ్ డీల్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఐ థింక్ సో నా లెట్ మీ షో యూ వన్ మోర్ థింగ్ ఓకే సో విఏ జీరో వన్ లెట్స్ ప్రెస్ ఎంటర్ లెట్స్ ప్రెస్ దిస్ థింగ్ క్వాంటిటీ ఓకే యూ కన్ఫామ్డ్ లెట్స్ ట్రై టు డూ ద డెలివరీ అగైన్ ఫర్ దిస్ టెన్ ప్యాక్స్ సో ప్రెస్ ఎంటర్ సో అవుట్ ఆఫ్ టెన్ ప్యాక్స్ ఐఎమ్ డెలివరింగ్ ఓన్లీ ఎయిట్ ప్యాక్స్ బికాస్ యూ నో ఇన్ ట్రాన్సిట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గట్ స్పాయిల్డ్ ఆర్ సంథింగ్ లైక్ దట్ ఓకే బట్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇట్ మైట్ బి డెలివర్డ్ ఆర్ సంథింగ్ లైక్ దట్ నో అగైన్ యూ ట్రై టు క్రియేట్ ద బిల్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఓకే ఇట్ వోంట్ అలవ్ యూ బికాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అగైన్ ఎవర్ పిఓడి రెలివెంట్ ఇఫ్ యూ సీ ద లాంగ్ now what you have to do go to vlpod proof of delivery confirmation you have to do it so eight quantity you now pod status it is showing a okay let's keep the date today's date okay press enter so so quantity difference okay so quantity difference is let's assume it is 2 press enter okay so reason also you have to choose so like uh, it might be under delivery reason you can choose okay so the difference reported so pod status you know, only so if you see out of eight quantity actually delivered within that also like you know two got spoiled actually pod quantity is six only okay so quantity difference is two is showing actual quantity how much it is there uh, should be 10 actually so out of 10 is 6 is the difference okay 2 is the difference quantity you have to uh, choose the reason if you want these reasons you can able to define on your own that is different so let's confirm so that means so pod quantity how much 6 how much need to be built actually it should be built 6 okay let's save this so now automatically if you come here see six is copied this is the advantage you need not create credit memo and all these things okay this is one scenario now let's try to create the same order again with 10 quantity generally you have a chances right so maybe under delivery and over delivery let's try to do the delivery okay press enter so out of 10 suppose if it is 15 actually delivered 15 packs it is delivered okay if you do the post push issue again if you try to create a bill it won't come because we have sent now click on vlp order press center so so 15 it is actually delivered so confirmation if it is 15 you can able to do it assume that delivery quantity they increased it 15 but actually delivered only 12 actually okay so 12 means uh like our delivery out of 10 let's try to keep it another 2 so 15 it is increased another 2 okay so that means 17 actually they, th- they thought that you know out of 15 maybe under delivery is 13 sorry if it is 15 means actually uh, delivery created for 15 customer asked another 5 but uh, they have received two another two also two packs customer don't want to return but he wanted to report and he will tell that hey boss i received 17 you know how it is required for my uh, further sales with my customers what you can do is you can send the bill across so like you know it will allow over delivery also so you can able to see this uh, the same story like you know proof of delivery related stuff when it comes to here what is that you can able to see all this picking status and all those things let's come here let's double click on this let me try to go to processing so you can see pod status difference it is identified right if you click this pod difference you can able to see okay so over delivery what it says so two quantity extra okay 
seventeen it is done. Actually, it's supposed to be del already ten is there. Out of that five quantity, uh, it is increased by delivery processor. Apart from that, we have we addressed that it should be like another two. Okay, let me take this. So that's we are addressing this seventeen as two. So once you click this. Status is difference reported, so it will become like C confirmed. So the bill will be like seventeen. This is one of the beautiful functionality. So a lot of beautiful features available in SAP system. Okay. Now if you go to we have zero to final. I am showing this. There is no difference. Your accounting document will be generated for your seventeen quantity. So let's double click this. Okay, so this is the story of your VLP OD. So I think uh, after you can able to practice power delivery under delivery tolerances with the VLP OD transaction. Okay, let me go back. Let me try to go to logistics. So let's try to go to logistics execution, outbound processes. So, so you can see proof of delivery. So change in single document display VLP OD a work list like you know for multiple deliveries. Okay. Automated POD confirmation. You can use this transaction. Okay, so all these are like proof of delivery. You come to your SAP Easy Access. You can able to find. Certain times you can use this transaction. This is more. This is the frequency. Like you know, I have seen real time. Either they will schedule a job with uh, this uh, transaction code, uh, like you know, work list, or also sometimes what they can do, they can able to. Single uh, document level, they can able to do it actually. So this no delivery selected. Okay, no problem. So so this is this is how you how to do the VLP OD. Okay, VLP OD is nothing but a transaction. It's a proof of delivery. That's all about your proof of delivery.